we today? Let's see. Why will it not let me do the live? Come on. Okay. It's going to take me a minute, guys. It's so not in here yet. Hold on. Okay. And all right. How's everybody doing? Live chat. Here we go. Oh, let's see. Oh, wow. Look, at there's a lot of you already in here. Holy cow. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, technically, it was 9 o'clock when we started, so cut me a little slack, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go save my son this morning. Then I had to go back to the post office this morning. It has not been a sit around and drink tea kind of morning, much to my chagrin. So. How's everybody doing? How are we on this Monday? start wherever we're starting. I hope you read this because I almost have to go, but hi, that's Orbit Arts. Hi, Orbit Arts. Who has just been very, very excited and couldn't wait for us to start. It's very nice to see you this morning. Um, hi, the greatest artist I've ever known. Oh. San Vidin. You're too kind. Oh boy, his ego is going to be huge this morning. Oh, you know me, I'm all ego. He is, he really is. My inking skills could never, that's Bionic. You have to practice. Yeah, I was horrible at inking, and then I just practiced it. He still thinks he's horrible at inking. Believe it or not. Um, Amit Patel says, "Try Medusa in your hair journal next." Oh, that's a good idea. Amit. Oh wait, wait. Okay. We did. Go back to uh, two videos, and you'll see her. Hello, Scott. I love your previous drawing. This one seems like it's going to be great as well. It's manual. Cats. Thank you very much. Love from India. Little hugs from the Hobbit Hole. Good morning, says Harper and Sheehy. Dark Snow Vacations is doing well. I made a new artist friend. So excited. Oh, Yay! that's great. <clears throat> oh, Froggy says you're amazing and keep up the good work. Oh, thank you, Froggy. Had my history exam. Cried over hair again. Now studying so decent. How about you too? That's. <laughs> It's been a busy morning already. We are we are doing okay. Not nearly caffeinated enough, but we are doing okay. Blow dryer. Sorry, I gotta get this really saturated. Spanish sass says, hello, I have arrived. Hello, how are we doing? Says, hello, I'm early for once. And Jelly Stell says, yes, finally after two months of attempts, I'm on time. <laughs> Someone alive says, hi from France. Luna says, good morning to everybody. Us in the mods. Hello. Betsy says, the hair looks amazing. Oh, thank you. Um, Zoe says, good morning. Good what is the morning. theme today? Also, I love your art. Uh, this is another pride related one. This is gonna be the male gay flag. And it is like a teal to blue to purple flag. Um, Sketch Corner says hi from Worcestershire, UK. <laughs> um, let's see. Orbit Arts. Is now gotta go, but you're amazing today. Bye, have a great day, Orbit Arts. Left-handed draws says hello, and how's your day going? 
Uh, so far, so good. Thank you. How about you? Um, let's see. I love that color. You're one of the people that inspired me to draw every day. Keep going. That's Jean. Oh, thank you. Alpha Wolf says, hi, I started following your tips and my art has improved so much. Oh, that's great. Noah, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings at 9 a.m. Central Time. Saturday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. Someone says, great shade of Cerulean. Oh, thank you. Um, first time seeing you paint on a live. Love the concept, by the way. Thank you. Kim just got new gouache. Laura says, good evening from Australia. Steph Nerd's here and says, good morning. Hello, Steph Nerd, Friday's and hello, Laura. Inspiration. Thank you. Thank you. for that I mean, this is this is watercolor um i use gouache for my more thicker painterly kind of stuff um but this is a, you'll mostly see me working with watercolor thank you for the representation in your art scott that's luminary uprise oh it's my pleasure this is um this is gouache so you can see it's thicker it's more painterly you don't see the paper underneath it Marguerite from British Columbia Canada's here. Hello, Marguerite. And Stephaner, thank you for putting that in. Blow dryer. Jeremy. Loves it. All right, so I want you guys to look at the flag with me. And let me get it. Uh, um, Meow Bert likes the background music. Uh, thanks, I, I've um, tried, hopefully it's generic enough. So if you look, um, so this is really kind of a, a teal. And this has kind of got a little bit of a bluish look and this has kind of got a little bit of a greenish look. So I'm gonna add a little bit of blue to this one, a little bit of green to this one, to just kind of separate them. What brand of paints are you using? Uh, Windsor & Newton. Um, what do you use to hold up your phone to film? I'm thinking about uploading videos to my YouTube myself, so it's just my name. Uh, I, I will show you. I just got, it, all it is is a, um, a just a, like arm. an iPhone stand yeah. that attaches to your desk. Mm -hmm. But uh, here, I will show you uh, as soon as I'm done with yeah, this. Art. Happy Amanda Pride. Says, Thank you. Glitch to Witchcraft loves it so far. Hope everyone's having a good morning with a little cup of coffee emoji. Thank you. The majestic mush. <laughs> Where can I find more of your work, Scott? Um, we are putting more of my work on our website. Uh, I don't know if it's live yet, but you can check. It's ssavaart.com and maybe the mods can give a link. But it should have some more of my paintings and... Miss, Stuff. Miss Cannot says, you help keep me going. You're my biggest inspiration for painting. Oh, thank you. Zaina B says, hi, I've been trying to catch your streams. Been busy with school. Love your art, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so this is, you can get them at like Amazon for like $19, but it's just a little arm. And you can just put your phone on it. And they're really, really cool. So I've got a couple of them. And um, that's it. I lost all the comments. I seriously like it just disappeared, and you guys all went just so many. Okay. Um, Blow dryer.
blow dryer. It is a blow dryer he stole from me. Uh, he has not done punk hair yet. He is looking into that. He has done it vis um, and, um, digital art in the past, animation stuff. Um, let's see. The blow dryer does have a name. Its name is Roger Roger. You're being asked to do a pansexual for this as well. Okay. Um, Holla Griffin is here for their first stream. They're glad they caught you. Um, um, Ami says um, they're new and they just want to see you're so cool and you're so amazing. Love your paintings. Oh, thank you. The prints will be available. Um, here's what's going on. We have 600 orders from our Kickstarter that we did and those um, are going to go out first as soon as we get the funds in from Kickstarter to actually pay for the shipping, which hasn't come in yet. We anticipate that to come in by the end of the week this week. Then we will start packing up and shipping all of the orders. Um, after that, we will make them live on the store because I really want to make sure that everybody who ordered through Kickstarter can get those first. And I hope I've answered most of the other questions. And Scott will go through um, and show, we show everything when you're done, just do a walk through. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Thanks. Blow dryer. All right, there's a lot of paint to cover. Um, Scott starts with a pencil, then he inks it with a zebra brush pen, and now he's going over it with watercolor. Yeah, if you look at yesterday's video, uh, yesterday's live, I'm sorry, was it yesterday? No, um, two days ago. Saturday. Saturday's live. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll, you can watch me make this. Do the pencils and the inks. Yeah. Um, he's using travel brushes, and there's a link to those on his website in the um, the art supplies, supplies section. And how many pages are left in the hair journal? I think three more. Will you ever do a giveaway? Oh yeah, I do giveaways all the time. Mm -hmm. Congrats on 600,000. Thank you very much. Um, I'm still practicing art to try and be as good as you. Oh, so practice is all it, all it matters. That brush is massive. I don't think I've ever seen one that big in any art store. Oh, they make them a lot bigger. Oh, this is a number 12. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it means, but... Do you ever use video games or cartoon shows to help you draw or get inspired? Um, I love video games, but I've, I don't think I've ever had them help me get inspired. They usually help me uh, take a break from paint. Blow dryer. I think we're kind of zeroing in on the colors that I want. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the notes in the background are actually a song. Do you want to talk about that? Um, yeah, it was what, Anne Marie who helped mm -hmm. us? So we were trying to pick a song that, you know, at least 
Well, A, I'd, I'd like to know the song, and B, that um, we felt best represented the male gay community. And so it's uh, Freedom 90 by George Michael, which is one of my favorite songs. So those are the actual notes from the song. Can you share, if somebody can't afford Windsor or Newton, what should they try as far as watercolors go? Well, uh, it depends on your budget because I have a Windsor & Newton, I mean, not me, but there's a link to Windsor & Newton, the Cotman, which is the student series mm -hmm. for $25. I think uh, it's up to 32 or 34 now. Okay, well, it? yeah. Uh, or you could just, if you're in the States, you can go to a place like Michael's mm -hmm. and you can you know, try to pick up really, really evenly, you know, like a $5 set, but... You don't have to start with something as expensive as that. You yeah. can start with something that's easier. Yeah. Blow dryer. Okay, All right, I'm just gonna let that sit while I do the lower half, which is... Um, I need more blue. Why are you... Um, Am I, um, it's not a dumb question. It's a good question, actually. Um, asks, why are you drying the paint and then painting over it? Um, uh, if I were to add any kind of paint right now to somewhere even near it, the water and the paint's gonna bleed. So by drying it, I can keep these strips clean. Otherwise, this would just all blend together. So I'm trying to keep them because uh, I'm, I'm trying to do a flag in the background. So if I were, if I didn't dry it, then this would all just kind of bleed together. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the watercolor brushes with the water in the brush? I, I've tried them, not really a fan. And that is not um, in any way to say that uh, they don't work for some people. It's just for, for me, they're not really working that way. The way that I'd like. Um, they're asking for a bisexual. Do you ever use books for inspiration? Oh, all the time. There's a link to a lot of Scott's art books also in his um, art supply list. Yeah. So you can see that there on his website. How's Donna's day going? Very busy. Thank you, Piper, for asking. But I'm sitting here with two cups of tea and reading all of your lovely comments. So my day is getting better. What is your favorite book and have you ever illustrated a book or graphic novel or comic book? Uh, my favorite book is The Hobbit. And yes, I've done several um, graphic novels and comics. I was the artist on Spider-Man. I did Star Trek. I did Mortal Kombat. I did my own series of web comics uh, called The Dreamland Chronicles. Um, and I've done uh, a bunch of kids graphic novels um, like the Animal Crackers, which we turned into a movie. Um, can you, the Kickstarter is officially over, um, but can you talk a little bit about what the Kickstarter was about? Can you maybe show the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, let me just finish the blue and okay. then I will... Give him a second and he will talk about what that was. Um, 9 a.m. Central Time, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is when we start our streams during the week. On We have a Saturday night stream that we do. Um, at 7 p.m. Central Time, and that is um, for anybody who can't make it um, during the week. We do that. Um, Scott is not doing fan art right now, um, like painting fans right now. He's got a lot of commissions and other things he's in the middle of, so he is not doing that right this second. Um, okay. So, yeah, so the um, this is drying, so I'll just show you. So the um, the Kickstarter was for these uh, prints. Mm -hmm. And these are all from the, uh, the hair journal. Everyone kept asking for if they could buy pieces out of the hair journal, but since they're back to back, that's yeah. not something so they do. So there's a whole set of them, mm -hmm. which I'm really happy with. No, he has never burned a drawing with the hair dryer. No, you can't really burn it. How do you come up with ideas for the hair journal while you're talking about those? Oh, um, Thank you for a lot of you have 
given me ideas. And so a lot of this is you guys saying, can you do a lesbian piece? Can you do a bisexual piece? Can you do uh, an Indian person? Can you do a person with alopecia? Uh, hey, Santa's here. Hey, Santa, how you doing? Hey, everybody, Santa's here. Blow dryer. It's not necessary for that, by the way, Santa. What happened? He sent you a tip. Oh, Santa. Blow dryer. Scorpion. <laughs> Spanish sass, you're so cute. She's like Donna and Mr. Voice. You're so funny. Uh, what tea am I drinking today? Oh, good question. Uh, I have one cup of the Harrods Strong Breakfast Tea, and my other cup that I haven't gotten to yet, it's a to-go cup with the lid on, is the um, Pittsburgh Strong Breakfast. Strong and smooth like steel. Um, how you come up with ideas for the hair journal? We just answered that. We did? Yeah. God. So many questions, I'm trying my best. Immaculate jawline. Oh, what hair color are they gonna be? I don't know, I haven't decided. Uh, any thoughts, everybody? Um, hair S color for both of them. S Creature says I recently got a small Cotman set for about $14 on Amazon, not sure if it was on sale. Oh, that's fantastic. $14 is a great deal. Usually- and If you guys were here Saturday night, you maybe you didn't see us but we um i went to michael's and i was peeking around the clearance section because i'm just cheap like that and they had an entire set of wash paints and they were five dollars on clearance so um and there were what 20 paints in the set 24 24 paints in the set for five dollars on clearance so um i'm always the first place i always go everywhere is the clearance section i love looking at the clearance section um, so you never know what you're going to find. And thank you for, um, for that creature. Um, that's awesome. Um, do you have biscuits with your tea? I can't have any biscuits right now. I'm going to the doctor later for my exam. And so I get the blood work done, so I can't eat anything right now. Blow dryer. One last color to go. Joe wants to know if you've ever whittled. I have not. Which is an interesting question. Um, I could have said a little bit, but I didn't. Okay. At what age were you able to start living off your art? That's cyanide sunny. We'll let you know. It's, this is the closest I've ever been to being able to live off of my painted work. I've always had a day job, always for 40 years, um, well not 40 years, because uh, we'll say for 35 years, uh, I've always had a day job. So um, it's not easy making a living doing art. Just like, you know, it's the same thing as acting or being a musician. 
it's a very, very rare when someone is able to make a living at it. Now, there are industries like I worked in video games, I worked in animation, um, I wrote books. There are industries where you can do your art and get paid for it. But I've, again, YouTube and TikTok are the closest we've gotten to being able to make a living just making paintings. And that is a very new thing for us. And we're very grateful for it. Um, what kind of ink did you use for the outlining? I always thought the ink spreads with water. Uh, yeah, if you get the wrong uh, ink pen, yes, it will. This is a zebra brush pen, and I'm sure that there is a link being posted in the comments to where we get them. Um, They're waterproof. Moose, Scott has a video of, on Art Block, and you can check that out in the Art Hacks playlist. Um, Nezu says, thanks to you, I finished my first self-portrait. Oh, that's wonderful. Blow dryer. Um, All right, I think it's time to get those musical notes in there. Okay, Ava says, you should do a video on your digital art process. I feel that would help be helpful to a lot of young artists. So I'm gonna take this one and tell you, Scott does not do digital art the way that you guys do digital art right now. He did animation. In our Discord, there is um, a whole section for digital art. And there are so many really talented people in there who have been giving each other some help and some support. And one of our mods, his name is David, he is phenomenal at digital art and he's in there and he can give you a lot of help in that area. Cherry loves the concept of how you connected the two of them together. Thank you. Um, I've never heard of the Hini Mia Jelly Gouache, but I don't know why picking a name is hard, asks what you think of it. I, I've never heard of it either, but yeah. uh, I love the idea of Jelly Gouache. That sounds fun. Ooh, God, that looks sounds too dark. Sounds kind of sticky. No, there's not two mods. We have a handful of mods. Um, we could not do this without them. Um, no, I don't think this is the color. See. Okay. Let's try muted violet. Sometimes I have to interrupt Scott, otherwise we'll talk forever in a day. Oh, be careful with the ink bottle, please. Um, does anyone want to tell their pronouns? Oh, that's really dark, too. Oh, wow. That is dark. Um, let's see. Is Mrs. Scott also creative? You're so funny. Um, no, I am not a creative in the traditional sense of, like, making art. Um, and how's her support to you? Oh, this will be a good one. How is my support to you, honey? It varies from day to day, of course, but uh, no, well, Donna is. On whether or not you're a, a nice person or you're, you know, a pickle. Donna is very supportive. I mean, she's put up with. I mean, she's supported the whole family so many times. Um, so, uh, but no, she's my partner. She's my partner in everything. What is Donna's biggest pet peeve? Me. Yeah, pretty much Scott. Anything Scott related. No, I, you know what I can't stand? I can't stand, um, I like a little bit of order amidst the chaos. So I don't like stuff everywhere. But our children are home for the summer, so that's kind of blown out of the water. All right, so this is very muted. Let me see, let me blow dry it. This one's great. Blow dryer. <laughs>
That's what I was crack. hoping. Yeah. I think, I don't know if it should go a little, I, I want the characters to stand out, but I think maybe a little. I don't know. I don't, you know what, I don't know. I, mean, I should not be asked that question. Um, Corella Soto says, live and love, laugh, blow dryer. <laughs> I will make that on a t-shirt, please. Let's try that with a little bit of water. Um, Granny Annie Bills says, Scott, I have a question. How long have you been painting with watercolors? Um, for love your art. It's amazing. Your videos always make me happy. Thank you. Um, I have been painting with watercolors for about 12 years now. That is very kind of all of you. Thank you. Glitch Witchcraft says, if anyone wants to pursue art as a job, I recommend being a graphic art designer, but you can also do research finding out other things you can be. I agree. I think that's a great way to go. Graphic designers will always be necessary and you can pursue traditional art on the side. Um, let's see. Oh, yes, we have a Discord. Do you have time lapses of you painting? Oh my gosh. Tons. Yeah. Just check out. Go to There's TikTok actually a time lapse, your... time lapse playlist. Is there? Yeah. Good. I didn't know there was a time lapse playlist. Beautiful. There you go. Nico, time lapse playlist. Um, let's see. Oh, and just for the record, since we've been married almost 30 years, I always interrupt him every time. Uh, Lillian says hello and love from Vietnam. Hello. What is it like living in a hobbit hole? Um, it is wonderful. It is wonderful. The whole house is in a hobbit hole, so it is really just the art studio. But I love coming down every morning and... Uh, he literally skips down the stairs. I don't. That... You do. You're the only one I've ever met in my entire life that loves coming downstairs and going to work. Loves it. Uh, how long has this been going? 35 minutes. Do you think painting is relaxing? Asks Joe, because I think it is. It is, it is. Art should be fun. It can be frustrating, but it should be fun. Hey, is Sophia Moreno here? Um, how are you, Scott? I am good, how are you? So you'll see me going over my lines. You'll see me, you'll see the paints bleed. Um, that's just watercolor. Uh, you just try to embrace it and just let it be. Have you ever tried pencil shading or oil pastel? Yes. Yes, to which one? Both. Okay. Oh, do oil pastels fade? I don't know. I only used them for a couple times in high school or college. Bethany, do you know anything about oil pastels fading? Hmm. How do you paint hair? Because I struggle. That's the brick matronic. There are three videos on hair in yep. the art hacks folder. Yep. Blow dryer. that dry how while I go over been, to this side. How long have you been into art? Did you like it as a kid or just got into it somewhat recently? No, I got into it as a kid. Um, I, uh, this. I, my mom was an artist and so I had, we'll say access to art at an early age. You had so many My uncle was family. an artist, yeah. yeah. No, he does not use the Posca paint pens. Can I just a big thank you to our mods for just blocking all this spam junk and I'm sorry about this. We're talking to YouTube about um, they've got to find a way to take care of that. Yes, the music notes are purplish, not black. Yeah, I, I tried to save the, the blacks and the whites 
for the main focus, not the background. Mm -hmm. Though, I mean, I think I'm gonna keep the white in the, the center because I think that's just part of the flag, but normally I probably would mute it. I actually saw some oil pastels for five bucks at um, Michael's and I was thinking maybe I'll try oil pastels in my, um, that art journal I was looking at that I was trying the watercolors in, just for giggles. The Discord link isn't working. It says it's expired. Okay, um, Nixia, can you fix that, pretty please? I don't know why it would say it was expired. I thought that was an open link. Yeah, it should be. Should be. Um, let's see. Um, <laughs> Tomaki says, to be honest, I love watching the lives. I seeing Scott drawing is beautiful, and Donna makes it so much fun. Oh. You're very sweet. We love yeah. hanging out with you all. We really do. Yeah. We we literally plan our mornings around the live. Okay, wait. It's Monday. We have to. We'll be live at nine, so we plan appointments and yeah. we plan everything around it. It's kind of funny. Business calls, everything. Sorry, we're busy at nine a.m. Um. Let's see. We have not been to Sweden. Somebody probably already asked this, but is drawing people your specialty? Um, I don't know if I have a specialty, but it, it does, is. It's drawing people. It's it's what I like to do. I think some people are good at. I don't know from what I've seen from different artists that I've looked at and different artists. When somebody really likes something, they tend to be they tend to put more effort into it. So then they become even better at it. That's what I've seen. I mean, we were just at a gallery, so call me crazy. But um, I'm reading the comments from right here, but I'm a little, I'm all over the map kind of. I'm back and forth and back and forth. Have you ever been inspired by poetry or famous poets like Edgar Allan Poe, Robert Frost, Shel Silverstein? I have not. For me, it's, it's always visual. Though, the music will, will inspire me sometimes, but I don't know if I've ever made made anime or made art based on a song. Uh, how about drawing someone with a feeding tube? I, uh, we're trying to be really, really sensitive of things, um, about drawing things, you know, so that we don't make people feel uncomfortable. Um, we had someone ask for a drawing of someone who was autistic and then another person said, yes, I really don't want to see that. So we'll, we'll take that under advisement. Hi, I'm from Malaysia. I have a problem drawing. I haven't drawn for almost a year. I feel like I've lost my motivation. What should I do? Is it burnout or something? Yeah, yeah, it's probably just burnout. Um, there's there's a video on, um, just look at the look for the video on what to do with about art block. Mm -hmm. That should help you. Um, Sophia Marie was here and she's, Hasn't been here in a while, and she says, "How are we?" We're good. How are you? We're good now that you're back, how are you doing? Um, let's see. Um, let's see. I know there's so many bots, you guys. I'm sorry. In my art class, we had a paint a painting based on a song. It wasn't my favorite, but it turned out decent. Oh, that's great. You'll see in the light fastness um, thing that Scott did use watercolor markers, but he does not use them on a regular basis. Yeah, and, and I gotta say, at least I, I'm watching it, uh, it looks like the watercolor markers are gonna be the first to fade. Yeah, yeah, especially the ones on the window. Thank you for inspiring me to use watercolors. Oh, honey, what's, what color are you using? I think you're using, he's using inks right now. This is an ink, yeah. yeah. So you want to show everybody what you're using so they can Yeah, see let me really just better. let him finish this one music note and then he can hold up the inks. Yes, he's tried alcohol markers but doesn't presently use them. And to the best of my knowledge, you haven't done anything about neurodivergent people, have you? No, no. Mm -mm. Oh god. You should do a self-portrait of you and Donna in the style of American Gothic. <laughs> I'm gonna go with no on that one. 
Um, I don't even know how we would depict asexual. I don't, I don't know how we would do that. I think it's just like, like anything else, like the trans, it would be just a flag. Okay. Do you do literary arts too? I don't know what you mean by that, John. Almost done, and then I will show you the bottle. Oh. Who's your favorite artist? Uh, Drew Struzan, JC Leyendecker, Maxfield Parrish, John Buscema. Um, yeah, well, we'll stop it. Scott used a brush pen on this, a zebra brush pen, so he has used brush pens in the past. Will you ever do a real-time tutorial that would be helpful? Well, isn't that what these lives are? Or you're saying just like, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, what 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 could I possibly? I don't, I don't know what you would look for. Do you have some ideas, Isha? Nina the Greyhound, paint a red panda. To the best of my knowledge, you have never tried to paint your dreams, have you? Um, no, I did in in high school. All right, so the paint that I'm using, let me make sure it's covered, the, or the ink for these notes is this ink. Liquitex ink, muted violet. Okay, please tell me that lid's on. I just, yeah. Okay. So All right, so let's blow dry it. So did, uh, what was the consensus on the hair colors? I mean, I haven't seen any Anybody hair, hair color? And I, yeah. Okay, then I'll do the face, but I need some ideas for hair color. Uh, okay, honey. Um, black I need and ginger, ginger, blonde. This is not helpful. Red and black, bright red, green, maybe a warm brown, brown and blonde, ginger, emerald green, blue, red, Honey, just pick. <laughs> There's no consensus. Ginger and hot pink. A lot of people want a redhead. Black and ginger. Okay, a lot of people want a ginger. Purple, brown, orange. You guys, this is like a whole rainbow here. There is no consensus except well, they keep seeing ginger. Month. Okay, pick one person to have <laughs> ginger colored hair and then just do whatever you want for the other one. Oh my gosh, okay. And now I'll never see the other comments again because everybody's just like, blue, green, black, purple, lavender. Do you want ginger and pick another one with the other one, like a brown or a black or a blonde or a something? Okay, people. Okay, how about we do like a bleach blonde for this person? Okay. So left is gonna be bleach blonde. Yes, I do freak out every time he lifts a bottle of ink. Uh, who's the, what, what color for the right? Pink, full rainbow. Um, Ginger and a blonde would look good. It doesn't matter, just pick one. Oh, I gotta sit. How about light brown for the one on the right? Ginger and black, pink, I love the colors. Honey, just pick and stop asking. I'm not asking. You were. Okay, you, ever you say stop asking as if I was continuing to have ask. Have you ever used airbrush markers? I haven't even heard of airbrush markers. Um, no, I have not. Okay, guys, you can stop with the comments. Oh my God, there's no way I'm ever gonna be able to go back and read anything. Wowzers. Okay, let's see. Yeah, good luck with that. There's, there's no way I'm going back. Nope, we've gotten so far past it. 
Okay, if anybody made questions or anything after all these comments, I can't go back any further. My, my screen's not letting me go back. So you have to put the questions in again, sorry. I tried. Uh, my favorite color is blue, um, like a nice cobalt blue. Do you draw celebrities? I do. Do you use reference? If so, where do you find good ones? Uh, there's a video on that. Um, From about, uh, maybe about a week ago. What do you do when you mess up a piece? I'd love to know. Uh, I've got oh, a video boy. on that too, but um, it he depends spilled, on how bad. Go back and look at the one where he spilled ink across the, <coughs> it was my hair journal piece, and how he fixed it. It was great. He really pulled that out. It was scary, but it was... He Blow dryer. I, I don't think I have. Okay, so everybody wants to see your whole setup. They want to see where the camera is positioned and how it's positioned. They I just, want to see your I just palette. did that. They want to see everything. No, they want to see the whole desk. They want to see everything. Okay. So you can take them on a tour later. I don't even know what impo what is impasto painting. Do we know? I remember hearing it. I don't remember it. Yes, we are working on Animal Crackers too. We are working on funding for that. Oh, Sophia, I was drinking the Herod Strong Breakfast Tea and I'm now drinking the Pittsburgh Breakfast Tea. No, I do not have my own channel. I think one um, YouTube sensation in the family is enough. Scott does not have online courses, but all of his videos are up and you can see those on TikTok or YouTube or pick something he's on all the socials do you draw scenery and animals i do i do um usually in my sketchbook um, let's see. so give him a couple minutes and he'll show the whole desk and the palette and everything and you guys can see that <laughs> here this Take this snail. It says, why would you want to be subscribed to anyone else when we have you guys? You're so cute. That's very sweet. Um, okay. I told you, draw a red panda. My answer to everything is draw a red panda. It is. Are you Marvel fan? Watch out. Um, I, I'm, I'm just getting into impressionism, okay. so. Okay, guys, here's the setup. This is what I see from where I'm sitting. Well, not exactly, but close enough. So, so there's, there's my like. photo reference. Mm -hmm. There's the blow dryer, mm -hmm. my paints. Yep. And this thing goes right up there and that'll, I'll lower it down. Mm -hmm. And there's outside the hobbit hole. Mm -hmm. And there's the rest of the hobbit hole. Minus Donna. Minus Donna. And yes, he stands at his desk. How do you know how much water to add to watercolors for consistency? Oh, that's just practice. That's all it is, just a little bit of practice. And there's there's a video on that too. Sam B says, salutations everyone. It's been a good while since I can catch a live. How are you? Hi, blow dryer. <laughs>
Have we ever tried to make art out of other ruined pieces? No. My dog hears the blow and gets anxious. Um, did you do a video on skin tones, honey? I did. Okay, so Hunkita, check out Scott's, is it in the Art Hacks playlist? Art Hacks. Great, go to the Art Hacks playlist and look for the video on skin tones. Um, let's see. Let's see, can you tell, tell again, please, um, what song that is with the music notes? Oh, uh, George Michael's Freedom 90. Um, how do you stop the watercolor from fading after watercolor for some time? It's for a competition, please. Uh, you have to get uh, better watercolor and use good paper. Um, the, the student stuff is going to fade after time. The professional stuff is... The professional stuff will last longer, like 100 years or so. Scott, you should do merch that says blow dryer. We're working on that. We're talking about that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is Pride Month. Um, for some reason, there have been so many comments about how your voice is so sexy, it's so soothing. You should do audio books. Oh, gosh. Love your voice. I'm, I'm, you guys, don't, you guys I'm remember reading. how shy I am. I should, and, and, and I, I appreciate it, but no, I. We made a movie. Donna, Donna had no problem having a part in the movie. You know, she had a voice. Our kids were in the movie. Me, didn't want to do it. Um, how long would it take for the colors to dry on their own if you didn't use the blow dryer? 10, 15 minutes, maybe. Um, is there a backstory on your bracelets? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, they're from places that we've gone to. Uh, we've, you've got, we've got Utah, we've got uh, Valencia, Spain, and um, Hawaii. And I'm hoping to add more soon. Uh, yes, it's morning here. It's 9.55 a.m. Scott is shy like a sheep. Indeed he is. <laughs> Blow dryer. through a bunch of these um okay we live in the united states uh unless you have um 20 million dollars don't worry about supporting animal crackers too we appreciate you but if you do you can email me <laughs> um i'm throwing that out there um scott doesn't like to paint hands or feet he loves painting hair um he did not animate animal crackers what he did was he wrote the initial graphic novel and then he wrote the screenplay and then he wrote it and directed it and produced it, which is a whole lot of things. But he did not actually physically sit down at the computer and do the animation. No, I stopped animating probably about a decade ago. Does it help you being shy getting all the YouTube fan compliments like a confidence boost or do you stay humble anyway? Are you kidding? We have 19 year old twin boys. Anytime you think even that you're like super cool teenagers come along and you are not cool anymore. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> My son said, he's like, wait, you're on YouTube. I'm oh, like, yeah. yeah, I have been for like the last few months. He's like, I'm on <laughs> well, you. He's you. like, yeah. And he, and then he pulls out his, his phone. He goes, look, he goes, I watch every day. He goes, I just did a search. I've never seen your videos. I've yeah. never watched any of your stuff. Yeah. Thanks, Brendan. I, I appreciate yeah, that. Thanks. We love you. Yeah, we've always got family to keep us humble, but no, as far as does it help? Yeah, I mean, um, 
anytime an artist, anytime a human being is complimented, it helps. It, it, it's um, the same way anytime someone says some, something negative, it hurts. Yeah. So I, I think the more people um, that are nice, to are nice and put out compliments and, and is, is just making the world a better place, this helps. I kill cereal says, Hey Scott, Donna, and all the mods. I just wanted to say that I really appreciate the safe and caring community that you've created here. Thank you all for the representation in your work. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We're happy that you're here. Favorite book series. Um, gosh, I, I love the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe series as a kid, but, um, I really think the Harry Potter's kind of yeah, took Potter's over. Um, but seriously, you should do an audio book. Uh, why are you standing at your desk? Oh, I I, um, I hurt my back playing hockey. I was a goalie for many years and I hurt my back and this just, it feels better for me to stand. Um, I've always wanted to share watercolor, but I always felt like I needed to set up a lot um, before cups, water brushes. I don't know how you make, a, make um, painting. Um, looks so easy. Oh, thank you. Um, it's it's just practice. It really, it's just practice. Oh, Blow dryer. Wait. Seven shrimp, three snails, and a beta. Oh, that's cute. That's so cute. And a partridge, and a partridge. Uh, besides watercolor ink, what is your favorite medium? Gouache. Oh, Sophia asks, how's Arwen? She's doing great. She's very happy her boys are home, which takes a lot of pressure off of me. Um, she tends to follow them around, mostly because they drop food, but that's okay. Um, you're shy, but we're here for you, and we love you. Be proud of yourself and art. No. They're both amazing. Thank you. How do you find inspiration for the hair journal? Uh, a lot of you give me ideas. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever done interior design? Um, no, no. But his mom is fantastic at it, to be perfectly honest. She's got a great eye. Yes, the Discord is open to everybody, but you have to be nice. If you're not nice, we boot you. That's our only thing. You just have to be nice. Have you ever messed with stop motion animation? Yeah, my son especially did too. Oh, he did great things yeah. with like Hot Wheels and... Blow dryer. Thank you. You've drawn people with disabilities. Um, I don't really think I've made that in, made a, a, a very strong effort into that, no. Have you done any videos on um, cold and warm shadows? No, I was gonna do one on shadows because it's been asked a lot. <laughs> Emma says, that's what kids are good at, bringing you back to earth. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, you are not kidding. Bean says, I just finished painting the first page of my brand new sketch, but now I get to go relax and watch Scott paint. <laughs> um, 
uh, Animal Crackers was awesome. They watched it. Thank we you. Should, we should crowdfund for the next Animal Crackers. We blow it out of the water. <laughs> Scott, do, Scott, do art as a hobby or do you always share it? Um, <laughs> I think I always share it. Lubert says, unfortunately, I do not have $20 million. That's okay. No problem. Um, nope. We Boot them. We actually have people, huh? Boot them. Yeah. You're of no use to us. <laughs> what is your hobby other than art? Um, I like to play video games. Scott gazes at my beauty. Yeah. That's what he does. He just gazes at my beauty. I love the representation in the hair journal. I just love your art man. Thank you. Um, you've read the Chronicles of Narnia. Can you draw Reaper Cheap? No, oh, I love Reaper Cheap. Marguerite says, oh my God, change your water, ha ha. Um, what's your favorite painting you've ever done? And if you do have a favorite, can you show us? Or can you show us when you have time? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, right now my favorite is the uh, cover for, the, the poster I did for uh, Animal Crackers. That was really, really fun. And here, let me show you. Uh, I'll do that later. Um, where is it? It should be here somewhere. Here it is. It was like 30 by 40 inches. It was really big, and I did it all in gouache. He did indeed. Taught himself gouache to do it. It took me, I don't know, somewhere between 11 and 14 weeks to yeah. paint. Um, I love the detail in the trunk. I love the texture like of the trunk. What do you like most about art? What do I like most about art? Um, I think for me, it's my way of capturing the beauty in the world. Okay. I like doing that. You guys ever met Sylvester Stallone? Scott yeah. Has. I did not, but Scott has. Yeah, yeah, he was really, really nice. Samantha says, Scott, Ada wants to send you her doodle of Donna and you. I told her I will send it to y'all later. Yay. Oh, that's... She says, oh, and she went to the zoo and she drew everything just like the advice you gave her. Oh, that's great. All right, we need to see the zoo pics, please. We need to see the zoo. Cough them up when you send the pictures. I want to see the zoo. What'd she draw? Um, pneumonia is bad. It says, why do you do art? Um, I, for me, it is an escape. For me, it is um, a chance for me to get away from the real world for just a little bit by just looking down at the, um, the paper. But also, it's a chance for me to capture the world around me. Sometimes I just see something and I want to copy it. I just want to capture it somehow. G says, will you please teach me how to make the tracing before the painting? I'm begging you. Yeah, there, there's a couple videos on that. Sophia applauds me for keeping up with the comments. There are so many. I am trying and boy, is it hard. You guys are very, uh, we need to go find it. No, 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 guys. We're, we're looking at, um, we've got people who are pulling in funding for Animal Crackers too. It's going to be fun. Leah Entertainment, my idea on what you should draw as a red panda. That will always be my idea. Animal Crackers is on Netflix. Scott is 5 foot 10. I don't know where he knows how to do put the shading in. How do you know where to put the shading in? I I'm looking at the photo. photo. That's not it. All right, I'm going to come back to him oh. and... Juniper says, not me hopping over from the Discord. So nice to be able to come create art with you across the, from across the pond. Oh, that's so great. great. I'm going to go across the pond. Art is such a gorgeous form. Art is a way for people to express themselves and show how everything in life is beautiful in its own way. And from their perspective, I will add that. Have you ever been inspired by Broadway plays such as Hamilton or Wicked? I have painted both of them. Blow dryer. So there's some things I still want to do. I'm going to mess around with the hair, some outlines, highlights, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I'm going to move over to this one for now. Um, let's see. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is wind is uh I'm sorry uh, Payne's gray. Favorite video game series. Oh, uh, 
series? Or favorite video game? Favorite video game is Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, <gasps> and Overwatch. Nina, yes, paint a woman holding a red panda. Yes, 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 yes. Hold on one second, I gotta record this. Let me add some... Can I still talk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I'm saying I just... I... Um, happy 600,000. Thank you. Let's see, um, I love how the flag is very subtle. Why don't you paint the earbud a striking red, like a string of faith or something? Uh, I, I might. It's supposed to be more subtle. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't want it to be the main focus. Yes, we can call the mods our spam police, that's fine. They're very good at it, they're, um, they're doing a great job. Uh, what do you think about making a mythology sketch before you draw figures of different ancient mythologies? That would be really cool. Um, have you ever done a frog? because I have a great and beautiful frog named Bart. <laughs> Harrison, give Bart, blow Bart a little kiss for me. I love all the pets. I'm new to the art channel. Do you have any tips to get started? That's uh, Gwyneth. Yeah, just draw every day. Draw everything. Don't just draw stuff out of your head. Draw what you see. RNJ is 12 and struggling to make eyes and lips. There's videos for that. Lucky for you, there's videos. Go to the Art Hacks playlist and you will find a ton of videos on that. Have you ever taken a sip of your paint water by accident? No, no, but I have accidentally put my paintbrush into my drink. Okay. Let's see. Blow dryer. Did we decide on a hair color for him? Uh, no, but I would go with bleach blonde. Are you no, we already did bleach blonde. Oh, uh, no, ginger, ginger, ginger. Like that red? That was the other one that was, like red, yes. Are you guys seriously counting how many times he uses the blow dryer? Is that what that 19 is? Oh my God, blow dryer count 19. Uh, we just have a dog. We had a fish, but our fish went to fishy heaven. Um, can you use watercolors on both sides of 100% paper or will it show on the other side? Oh no, look. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go through. If it's good paper. Mm -hmm. It has to be thick, good quality paper. Scott, I got an idea. Maybe you should make a video of how you met Donna, just basically how I met your mother. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh boy. There is a video on, uh, on us. Yes. I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah, there's a video on us and there's a video on um, my wife, my niece unfortunately um <laughs> uh best advice to feel more comfortable with a brush always try them once in a while and lose patience when i have less control than with a pencil oh yeah I, I was the same way too i was the same way too that's why i do the inking the inking is there so i could feel like i have some control and then the brush just try letting the paint brush try just letting the paint bleed everywhere and and trusting that you did a good job with your with your control with your inking that's that's the 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 trick that's worked for me is um if the paints go over if the paint you know like i don't i'm not as good with the paintbrush as i am with the um with the pen um scott prefers to drop people specifically women with long hair blow dryer <laughs> So I'm trying something new over the last few times. So um, for Caucasian people, 
I will start off with a yellow base. And I used to do that with uh, darker people, African American, Africans, um, but it, it doesn't look as good and I wind up going over and going over it. So lately I have been doing a, uh, a red base and I think that gives it more of warmth. And so um, I am trying that. So this is still a little more experimental. Um, okay. So uh, he's not going to put me in the hair journal, but thank you for asking. He started using watercolors 12 years ago. He's got a video on how to get over art block. He's in the art hacks playlist, which are wonderful mods just put in there. Now I'm going to bring in some burnt sienna. How do you make a mini time lapse while on the live stream? Because I saw your live stream for the lesbian flag and then it was on a short. Do you edit the live stream? Sorry, this is a dumb question. Uh, I, the editing the live stream is not as good as just recording. Like right now I'm going to record another segment. Um, I'll grab two seconds. And that's all I need. Do you have a um, something on colored pencils? Yes. Okay. Um, Abbas, check the um, art hacks for colored pencils. Yes, that is a pride flag in the background. I don't know why my sketchbooks always fall apart and my art is just straight up ruined. How do I prevent that? You, you gotta try to get are you doing um just pencils or are you doing uh watercolors so depending depending on on what you're trying to do but i don't know why the sketchbook would fall apart well it depends like if they're using like a one that's made for pencils and they're using watercolors right but are they talking about the binding that's falling apart are they I, talking about the paper that's falling apart it depends apart? on yeah. on what kind of give sketchbook us, it is give us a little more info on how do I use watercolor pencils? There is a uh, video on that. What sketchbook do you use? Um, this particular one is an Etcher Lab. Um, perfect sketchbook is what it's called. Tips on pricing commissions. What I do for, for commissions is I work out the amount of hours. So I know how long uh, a, a painting is gonna take me. And so I work from that. This is the um, gay men's flag? Yeah. Okay. I don't wanna speak out of... Blow dryer. Blackbird. Okay, let's see. Um, people are saying they don't feel like the headphones are connected to, to anything. If you think about it, technically the headphones could be connected somewhere else. Oh, you're right. There's nothing to. It's connected to. Yeah. It's okay. That's funny. Um, it was the trans one, but I'm thinking now it might be the lesbian one. Scott has tried using markers. In the past, he does not use them presently. Everybody wants to know how you do such great line work. 
The line work is just taking a little bit of, again, I mean, the answer is always practice, obviously, but uh, it is, it's, it's just over time, you start to figure things out. And that's all you need to do is give yourself time. Blow dryer. I like the smaller stuff. I, I was doing larger paintings for a while and, uh, and that was really cool, but I think just over the last couple of years I've been enjoying the smaller stuff. Blow dryer, hold on. No, not yet. Um, we buy the watercolors from our local art store, Plaza Art. Um, any tips for a new artist like me with just paper and a pencil? Oh, just, just please draw every day. Just draw everything. Draw um, a journal, essentially. Just draw what you see, fill it, fill it up with notes and You'll learn so much by drawing mundane things like cars and cats and you know, whatever. Don't just draw stuff out of your head. Uh, what do you prefer using, acrylic or oil paint? <laughs> uh. That's a funny question. Like either. Yeah, I don't like either, but if I had to choose, it would be acrylics <laughs> because I don't want to deal with all the baggage that comes with uh, oils. Ooh, we haven't seen Jurassic World Dominion yet either. Jenna watched Animal Crackers and said it's amazing. Oh, thank you. Uh, um, I checked the art supply list and didn't see that brush. What kind is it? It's the travel brush. It's the set. travel brushes. Mm -hmm. They should be in there. It's a set. All right, um, let me get some pinks in here. Uh, let's see. Oh gosh, this is a this is a loaded question. I just got back into my art around a year ago after stopping drawing for nine years. I get people who say it's great and amazing, but actually hard to get people to buy. What should I do there? Uh, uh, that is something I've been through as well. Um, Struggled for years with that. Yeah, I, I still do, honestly. I think um, f what what worked for me, at least a little bit, was working on smaller, quicker pieces so that way I could work within people's budgets. Um, you know, you spend two, three weeks on a painting, you don't want to give it away. But if you can spend an hour on a painting, you can sell it for $100. And $100 is affordable. Blow dryer. Trying to think of what color. Um, it's Arthi. Good luck with your exams tomorrow. And anybody else who's like finishing up school, good luck with all of your exams. Um, how difficult is it to draw an African hairstyle? <coughs> it's not difficult. Um, they're actually really fun to do. Um, there's a video on a bunch of different styles. If you look for, there's a video called uh, how to draw Afro textured hair. Why did you choose to put musical notes in the background? 
I just wanted to connect them somehow. For the lesbian one, I connected their hair. But um, for this one, I wanted to connect them somehow, and so I thought of headphones. But it is kind of funny that there is no, um, they're not really connected to anything. The Dark Knight Returns, uh, Superman for All Seasons. How do I draw air? Yes, air, said John Air. Someone else earlier asked also how to draw um, rain, which is a good question. Uh, that is an interesting one. And someone asked if they could, how do they use, can they use watercolor on paper with 160 GSM? 160 GSM was... You have... There's one on the ground right there. Yeah. Yeah, that is... Um, this one's 185 GSM. And that is like the bare minimum. I mean, you yeah, can always do it. it. But the other cool. ones are there. Yeah. Just make sure it doesn't soak through. Would you be willing to make your own brand of wash paint? Oh gosh, I don't know if there'd be any market for something like that. I'm still trying to decide on the hair color for him. Ginger, I told you. Yeah, I just don't know if that's what I want to do. Okay. Oh, Bluetooth headphones, says Harper. There you go, that's why they're not connected because they're Bluetooth headphones. Did you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Cute. What is your favorite art museum? Oh, well, I haven't been to all of them yet. Um, I'd really like to go to some of the ones in London, like the Tate and... Oh, Prague. Yeah. The Mooka But the ones that we've been to... <coughs> Did you see the picture I sent you of the library in Prague? Yeah. We need to go. I'm guessing you're a morning person. I am. What was the most satisfying thing to discover in your art journey? Oh, um, I really liked uh, learning how to paint because uh, I was always doing colored pencils. So I think I really liked uh, learning about um, watercolors. Though the gouache part was really fun too. Okay, people are asking for tips on line work and line weight. I think you did that. Earlier. There are a couple the of hacks. them in the yeah. in the art hacks folder uh, playlist. Paint from his dreams. I sing really well by myself in the shower with the water going full blast. Um, keep on how to draw accurately from reference. There's there's a couple of videos on that too. Blow dryer. So I don't know if you can see, but um, the the green with the brown underneath it makes it look more. Th it makes it look thinner, which is what I wanted to. So you could see some of the skin underneath it. Um, Watchman's Marvel. It's hilarious. Um, Scott, I need some tips. Please help me. How can I draw accurately from a reference or what I see live? I always end up tracing because I can't get my sketch accurate. Well, there's nothing wrong with tracing, but um, I mean, if you're just having, uh, uh, if this is something you really want to do out of your head, or you know, like uh, without tracing, then really it's just a matter of doing it enough times. You start to find uh, what happens is is you build everything, you measure everything off of one point. Um, here, let me, I'll try to explain it. So. Oh, good, you're gonna draw. Go. For one second, I shall write. Well, Scott, sketches 
So if you're drawing something, you're gonna do, let's say the shape of the head, right? And then based on that shape, you're gonna say do your center line. And then this is where the eyes are gonna be. Now everything else is gonna go from that. So if these are off, then everything else is gonna be off. So you're gonna go, okay, based on this, here's where the eyes are, um, here's where the nose is, and here's where the mouth is. Based on that, this is where the brow's gonna be, this is where the cheekbone's gonna come up. A little bit of the jaw is gonna come out kinda to about here. And based on that, the ear is going to be over here. So you're so everything starts with your initial shape, and then you're just measuring visually everything after that. This is where your brows go, and then you could do your eyes. and your nose. So what you're doing is, is, is you're, you're, you're establishing some ground rules, you know, here's your hairline, et cetera, et cetera. But you're, you're establishing some, some ground rules once you do your initial sketch. So if it's a profile, Here's your ear. So from that ear, you know that's where the jaw is going to come from. Now, if I did my ear up here, then that's where my jaw is going to come from. So everything starts with your initial drawing. Once you have that, now you know this is where the brow is going to be. This is where the nose is going to be. Upper lip, lower lip, jaw. You got your jawbone here. You can fill in. So it, it's, it's, when you're tracing, you don't have to think of all that stuff. You're just looking at the photo that's being projected. But if you're looking in real life, you have to make a decision as to what you're seeing. You know, you know same thing goes with anything. So that initial drawing like I'm looking at, at my water cup, that initial, that initial circle, that first thing, everything else is going to be based off of that. You know, I don't know if that helps at all, but. I'll let you know if that ever happens. Jordan All right. Says, Still live. What a treat. Hello from Tel Aviv. Hello. We are actually at our 90 minute mark, so we are going to sign off. And I guess I'll finish this up uh, later today. Um, guys, for any questions that you have, oh, Timo Fumi's here. Hey, Timo. How are you? Um, if you guys have any questions on specific art things, check out the Art Hacks playlist. That should give you like basic ideas on drawing and shading and line weights and a bunch of other things. Try that. And if you have any questions about oil paints, talk to Bethany Primrose. Not yeah, us. go on to the uh, yeah. the Discord. She'll be happy to help. Mm -hmm. Yep. And for digital, you can talk to our friend David. David, who is on there. He is the digital guy. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It looks like I might need a little more time to finish this up. I'm gonna put the outlines, I'm gonna clean up the hair and everything. We call this the noodling time. Oh, there's so much to be noodled. Um, yes, you can send Scott a picture of your drawing. You can tag him on any kind of social media or leave it in the Discord is great. And Steph Nerd, thank you for putting the streaming schedule in. 
We are just using a non-copyrighted lo-fi kind of music. He uses a Faber-Castell 4H pencil. What do you think? Should I like make like the, like a red? We have not been to every museum we ever want, want to go to. <laughs> oh my God, he replied to me. You guys are funny. Yes, a big thank you to all of the mods. Could not do this without them. This yeah, is just thank crazy. you all. It's, it's crazy. Um, they would like a final blow dryer, honey. One last blow dryer, you okay. got it. Give me one second. Oh, we were, yeah, the grid method is a great idea. Yeah. Thanks for putting that in, for posting that. You guys are so great at helping each other, I love that. He ended up using, um, I'm sorry, it was Freedom 90 from George Michael. That's the music Yeah. Mix. Yeah, there you go. Uh, no, we got, we're going to call it Bluetooth. <laughs> uh, what was I supposed to show? Oh, crap. What were we supposed to show? Oh, final blow dryer. They want a final blow One dryer. final blow dryer. Blow dryer. No, no, we did no. not. <clears throat> we uh, took a last minute uh, day off. So that was, uh, we reserved the right every once in a while to do that. We had some stuff to do with our kids. So, um, do you think you'll ever do an art hacks on shading? Um, it's on you my said, list. Yeah, you said that was on your list. Oh, Lemon just got here and wanted to say you're the one who inspired me to start watercolor. Oh, fantastic. I hope you're enjoying it. All right. I am going to noodle this later. I hope you all have a wonderful Monday. And a we magnificent will... Magnificent Monday? Magnificent Monday. Uh, and we will see you on Wednesday. We will, everybody. We will, we will. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Have a great one, you guys.